first what I'm going to do is salmon. These are wild caught salmons. I just sprayed them with olive oil and some, um, just a little bit more, and some lemon juice, Italian lemon juice. It's really an essential oil, but it's edible. So that's what I'm doing, a lemon, uh, butter, salmon on a smokeless grill. I'll be using the um, Lando Lakes olive oil and sea salt. So we'll be giving it a little spread of that as the uh, salmons get finished grilling. So in the meantime, once they're all done, I will show you what they look like and how I'm going to sear the top of them. I like it to be a little crispy and a little blackened. So we're going to blacken them a little bit with the kitchen torch. But first, what I'm going to do is put them, sorry, excuse me, on the grill. That's what we're going to do first. And make sure they don't stick. So you want to put your um, olive oil on really good so that they don't stick to the griller. You can use a lot. It's not going to hurt it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cover it so the heat can kick back into the uh, griller. You can actually with this griller you can use it with the lid up or the lid down. But for now I'm going to use it with the lid down. Uh, once they start to get a little red, a little tough, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon and a little bit of butter. A little more lemon. You can't have enough of lemon. The more lemon, the tastier your um, salmon will be. And we have our russet mashed potatoes in here. I found this recipe on Gordon Gramsci's cooking channel when he did a uh, seared... Uh, rainbow trout but I'm not doing a rainbow I did salmon I did fried cauliflower which I'm going to turn into a barbecue Korean fried cauliflower I have my tomatoes um, with my sun-dried goat cheese on top I'm going to show you how I sear that but first let's just concentrate on the uh, mashed potatoes for the salmon so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our lump crab meat. That's what he used. He used some lump crab meat. Oh, there's also butter and heavy cream in my mashed potatoes. So we're going to use a heaping amount of crab meat. About a half a cup. The potatoes are already warm, so we're just going to mix it really nice just mix it all together mash it up really good okay it'll look like this it's all nicely mixed i used the russet potatoes i'm going to add a little cilantro uh, diced red onions and um, some basil that's what i have in my mix so just stir it around and they're going to take a lump of it and put it in the middle of my tomatoes. Hopefully it will release. I'm sure it will. It just needs a few moments. Okay, the salmons. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the salmon on top of the mashed potatoes. Okay. So I had to broil my plate because my kitchen torch was not working. So here we have some salmon over garlic mashed potatoes with lump crab meat and some sun-dried goat cheese with uh, caprice tomatoes. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was inspired by Gordon Ramsay. Thank you so much for watching.